All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoot, do I, shoot, do I. Go beneath the family. Don't get about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. There's nothing like a little formal get-together to bring out the best in people. Anybody got a matchbook? I got something stuck between my teeth. Although at times it's like putting a bow tie in a brick. I still don't know why I had to rent this monkey suit. It ain't like somebody's getting married or Kenny Rogers is in town. Lou, we're doing it for Joe. I mean, how often is the point after upgraded to a three-star restaurant? I still can't believe it. I mean, my dad's name in Fred's Philly food review. I will never forget the look on his face when he read the write-up. I mean, his eyes glazed over, his mouth dropped open, his nose began to twitch. All in all, he looks stupid. <laughs> but happy. Well, everything is just about ready. Where is that three-star galoot? Mm, should be here any minute. Said he had to stop off for a quick business meeting. What meeting? I don't know. I think he's making the permanent switch to... Cloth napkins. Hey, what's the chow tonight? The chow is rack of lamb a la malte. Mmm, mm, sounds good. <laughs> Got enough ketchup? I'll get you a bib. <laughs> hello, hello? Hey hey, 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 how's the eatery king of Philadelphia? Hey, Jojo, I always knew you was going to amount to something. Even during your football career, I still believed it. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. Well, shall we begin with the crab puff, Salamalti? How come everything with you has to be a puff? <laughs> Guys, wait. Before we do any celebrating, I think there's something you should know. Whoa, what's up, old baron of beef? <laughs> I just had a meeting with Owen Bergen. Owen Bergen? Doesn't he own a string of delis with sandwiches named for Hollywood stars that do their own stunts? <laughs> the very same. It seems he read the review of the restaurant and he's interested in buying the place. Do you believe it? Are you kidding? No, no. He wants to expand and believe me, he is willing to pay for it. Enough so we can retire to an island where the cabana boys run wild and the women are few? <laughs> no, but we can certainly visit a few times a year. <laughs> Joe, you're not really thinking of selling, are you? I don't know. After all, I've run that restaurant for a lot of years. Maybe it's time for a new challenge. Joe, uh, I think you're forgetting something extremely important. Oh, don't worry. I've saved for Penny's education. I meant my job. <laughs> Where I go, you go, and Cliff, too. I would never break up the point after family. Wow, imagine the point after no more. All the memories. And that's where I first came out. I'm not going to do it. Uh, he'll be out in a second. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not going to... What kind of talk is that? Joe, I can't do it. I can't go through with it. Uh, 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 uh. Just calm down now. Trust me, you're going to be fine. I know you backwards and forwards. Maybe you don't know me backwards and forwards. Of course I do. I've shared an apartment with you for three years. You panic very easily, Cliff. Remember when the toilet tank busted, you called the Red Cross? <laughs> I did not. Well, you wanted to. Hey, hey! I've got a blushing bride out here. It's hot to trot. 
Mr. Lou, I was about to convince him. I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. You will. I won't. Will. Won't. All right, listen. I got something to say. You ain't gonna like it, but you're gonna hear it, and you're gonna be better for it. Sit down. Cliff, a marriage is between two people. You're right, Lou. That changed my life. Ooh, what in the hell did you bring that? What in the hell did I? Because nerves is just fear. That's all. Remember the game we used to play when the three of us was kids? You mean the one where you and Joe used to tie me up to a tree and then go to the ball game? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> But I'm talking about one when we used to jump off the high wall out back. We were just so scared, so nervous. But when we actually did the jump, it was nothing. Head eye climax. It's all. Same thing with marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lou. He'd be right out. Joe, I wish you could understand how I feel. Ah, uh, come on, Cliff. I'm your brother. If I don't understand, nobody does. Now, right at the moment, you think you made a mistake, right? You could put it that way. Well, there you are. See, I felt the same way when I got married. And you were right. That's beside the point. <laughs> He'll be out in a second. The point is, you love each other, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's... Well, then that's all that matters. Now, let's straighten that tie, and let's go tie that other knot. We'll be out in a second. All right, look, you really think it's going to be that easy? I mean, you don't see any reason why I shouldn't get married. Like what? Oh, the fact that I'm gay. <laughs> this may take a few minutes. I remember that day. Who could forget it? If he'd sold the place before then, there never would have been a storeroom, and Clippy would have still been straight. <laughs> Lou, your life doesn't change just because you're in a restaurant. Right. And I suppose yours didn't change when your Tootsie Tony walked in. Tony. You know, I, I really thought we had something. 